I have been uh, a Republican since I turned 18, and one of the privileges you have as a Republican is you don't have to be politically correct. You don't have to engage in groupthink. The justifications for Donald Trump uh, uh, sound persuasive in a Republican group where we're just talking to each other and where we don't have rebuttal. Those justifications are strong economy, at least pre-COVID. Um, uh, we're uh, pushing back on China, but we don't hear a rebuttal to that. And to me, the economy has appeared to be strong because spending is absolutely out of control. There is no party that's now exercising any restraint on spending. And this is a classic, classic uh, 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 precedent that leads to decline of nations uh, over and over again. So if we want to see a nation decline, you know, going into deep debt, that's the way to do it. And that's exactly where we're going. But why I oppose Trump, number one, he's uh, a, a small man, not a strong man. Number two, he is shameless, not confident. Um, number three, he uh, uh, his insults seem to reflect his own qualities, not those of those uh, the people he's insulting. He seems to be insulting himself. There's something odd going on there. Fourth, he, he seldom seems to laugh except at others. And uh, uh, fundamentally, uh, I oppose him because he's an authoritarian. I oppose Bernie Sanders because he's an authoritarian. I don't want an authoritarian. I want an empowered people and a real democracy that breaks out of the special interest hold that we are within right now.